Hello everybody, today I would like to talk about how we can use Blender 3D to extend Rhino 6 sub-D capabilities. Okay, let's start. Okay, as you might know, Rhino 6 have new subdivision modeling capabilities. But as of this recording, those features are fairly basic and not really comprehensive. So, in order to compensate for such shortfall, we can actually use an external program to augment its subdivision capability. One such program is uh, Blender 3D, which is uh, one of the preferred tools for me. Okay, you might be wondering why why Blender 3D? Okay, firstly, this program is freely available and can be downloaded off the web. Okay. Secondly, it already sports uh, array, an array of powerful subdivision and polygonal mod modeling tools which are currently missing in Rhino 6. Okay, now I will want to uh, do some demonstration of some of the features inside Blender 3D which are uh, missing or not as well implemented uh, within Rhino 6. Okay. Okay, let's say if I want to do an extrusion, uh, extrusion, I can simply press the 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 E E E key. Okay, I think before we proceed, maybe I will want to uh, <clears throat> cut this into half to do a symmetry more modeling. Okay, um. One tool that is uh, missing inside Rhino is actually the loop cut, okay, which can be executed by pressing the Control plus R R key, okay. So if I press Control R, I press the Enter, I can actually like um cut uh I can actually do a sectional cut over here, okay. So let's say I want to remove this area, I can simply select the spaces over here and remove them. Okay, okay, so um, now uh, we can delete this, this space. Okay. <clears throat> okay, let's say I want to model uh, some kind of a cute character, uh, animal type character. Okay. Okay, I can uh, turn on the the mirror modifier to do symmetry more modeling. Okay, so I turn on mirror modifier. <clears throat> okay, another tool that is uh, missing inside Rhino Six that is available on Blender is the knife tool. Okay, for example, I want to cut a section over here. Just this section, not not the like a uh, entire loop over here. Just this section, I can use the knife knife tool by simply pressing the K K key. Okay, I can just cut it across here, and I can make use of those are uh, hotkey options to to do some fine fine cutting. For example, I want to cut at this midpoint. I can simply press and hold the control key to find the midpoint. Control key to find the midpoint and do a cut. Okay, yeah. So I cut this piece into two halves okay two halves so, so now uh, this bottom piece maybe I want to move out a little bit like that okay and here I want to do another extrusion I want to extrude inwards so I can change to normal okay press E for extrusion S to scale and um, press uh, E again to do an, an extrusion okay Okay, let's say I want to do like a year over here. Okay, do some kind of year over here. I um the year should stick out from here. So I do not want to cut the whole entire section. I only want to cut this portion. So I can use something like the knife knife tool again. I press K key to do a cut, say around around here. Okay, then press enter. Yeah.
okay so here I want to like extrude out the earlier I can select the face mode <coughs> press E okay you can press E again do another extrusion Okay, so I got some kind of a year over here. <coughs> Maybe I'll just bring down this a little bit. Okay, let's say I want to cut like a year, uh, the nose here. So I want to do another cut here. I can also again press the K, K key to do a knife cut. Okay, enter, select face. Okay, enter. E to extrude. Okay, maybe at this stage I, I want to get a feel of how the subdivided form will look like. I can simply add a subdivision modifier. So add a subdivision modifier to get a feel of the form. Okay. Maybe I just I need to delete this uh, interior face. Press delete. Okay. So I got a feel of, of the form. <clears throat> Maybe add a uh, nostril here. Okay, I'm more or less done, done with, with the form. Okay, uh, another thing I want to highlight is that within uh, Blender itself, there are a lot of other tools inside here that uh, are missing inside uh, Rhino that you can use. For example, things like the bevel, things like skin and all those uh, which are currently missing inside the default Rhino tools that are actually quite useful for our kind of work. Okay, the important thing to be aware of is that um, is that before we do our exporting we need to export the model in its uh, pre sub sub d form we cannot export we should not export it in its sub divided form okay so what i need to do is uh, let's tap to go back to the object mode and apply the the the, the mirror so we flatten it okay so now uh you should not um You should not um, apply the sub subdivision because we want what we want to export is actually the sub divided, uh, the pre sub D cage, not the sub divided form. So we have to uh, delete away uh, this subdivision modifier to export this cage. Okay. So what we do is uh, after we're done with our work, we can go to file, export as a OBJ. Okay. Export o OBJ and bring that. OBJ into Rhino 6. Okay, so let's say I want to bring the OBJ inside here. <coughs> can go to File, <coughs> Import. Okay, we have imported our model inside okay so um, from here onwards we can apply our sub subdivision inside uh, Rhino itself to do that like what we have done in previous uh, videos just type to sub D press enter maybe I want to delete the input yeah so this is the sub subdivided format as you can see it looks
the same as the, the one inside uh inside uh blend blend blender okay so but the, the advantage of uh rhino subdivision format is that rhinos are uh, subdivision model can be converted to NURBS which are essential for manufacturing whereas in the case of blender uh they are made up of approximated uh polygons so uh at best uh the blender's model blender model can only be uh, exported for 3d printing whereas in the case of right right now we can actually do uh send it for some kind of uh, engineering downstreaming or for manufacturing purposes so let's say we have come to this stage and we want to convert it to to uh nerves we can just type to nerves Okay, so our file has been converted to a NURB for format, which we can apply all the other NURBs and uh, solid base uh, features, uh, such as let's say I, if I want to do a bo Boolean card, let's say I want to do a Boolean card, the Boolean split, I mean, I can actually do the Boolean split. Okay. So let's say uh, I want to make this like a uh, hollow out certain region. I can do a boolean split, for example. Uh, do a boolean split like this, cutting object. As you can see, uh, it has been split into separate pieces, and they still man maintain a kind of a uh, volume. Uh, property volume which um you can export for other purposes such as uh shell shelling to uh or uh, engineering package for further works okay so i think uh that's all for my demo i hope that it's been useful to you see you bye